What is up, people? I uh, just want to do a quick video on a custom knife. Uh, I happened to actually put a couple of these together. We did a short run of these knives a while back. It's called the Tradecraft. It is our first automatic out the side folder that we have actually been able to put into more than just onesie twosies. So, a little bit on that today, a little bit more on custom information, and uh, yeah. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Jake Hoback. Been making knives for the last 20 years. Been doing this full time for the last uh, 10 to 15 years now, and just enjoying every bit of it. Trying to make every possible tool that I can make to the best of my ability. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so let's dive into the Tradecraft, our first switchblade that we've done more than just a couple of. Uh, backstory, so. Um, oh gosh, I guess it was probably 2011, 2012. I did a couple of Quaybacks. Uh, I did them automatic. Uh, Boker had approached me to do a switchblade for them. And when I designed it, they gave me a couple of days to get the job done. They're like, hey, we want to take these to Germany. Uh, can you get these done in a couple of days? I'm like, I've never even made a switchblade, but okay. So I uh, worked throughout the night. I managed to design, make everything uh, in like 48 hours, made these two Quaybacks. Uh, they got sent out to Germany. Uh, a couple months later, I finally hear back from them and they're like, uh, so good news and bad news. These are amazing. They're too complicated to produce. Like, seriously? Okay, that's cool. I mean, compliment and kind of like, oh, that's a bummer. But it was pretty cool. So. We ended up auctioning those knives off, and I think they went for three or four thousand dollars a piece. It was insane. Um, so you know, I kind of curbed the whole project just because it was like it was it was a little bit of a downer. I was like, oh man, I guess it's just too much to make. Um, so you know, circle around to uh, 2018, 2019, and I'm like, you know what? I'm really getting the itch to do another automatic. Uh, so let's do the Quayback. Let's make it a little bit smaller, more pocket friendly out the side uh, and I want it to be robust but a little bit more gen uh, gentlemanly so we came out with the Tradecraft. The Tradecraft is a three and a quarter inch blade so I'll give you the specifications, I'll give you the layout and then I'll show you the knife. Um, I've only got a couple of customs that I managed to uh, uh, save uh, and they're up on the website now if you're interested in them, or you can just shoot me an email at jkobacknives at outlook.com But I wanted to do a video and kind of show you guys what I had uh, so specifications uh, eighth inch thick CTS XHP blade stock um, XHP is awesome. I love that steel. It's an amazing uh, Stainless steel uh, we went with 530 seconds frame material uh, overall length seven and a half inches blade length three and a quarter like I said close length four and three eighths uh, And it's set up for tip up right and left-handed carry um, The knife is only four ounces uh, so fairly lightweight for being a titanium frame uh, You know Outside switchblade so this custom that I've got here is a stone wash version It's got two fullers and a awesome wire custom bent wire pocket clip now the wire pocket clip you know it's like give and take uh you know some people love the wire pocket clip some people hate the wire pocket clip i think the people who hate the wire pocket clip are only hating on it because of the aesthetics it's not as pretty as a uh you know a flat clip or a 3d machine clip but i tell you what if you've ever handled a knife with a wire pocket clip and you're actually going to use it you will be absolutely stunned and amazed and you'll never want anything else if you're going to use the knife um you guys know me uh i'm a huge fan of making things that are usable and a wire pocket clip to me is like the pocket clip for non-obtrusive holds in your hand really well and doesn't cause hot spots so I'm a huge fan of wire pocket clips. Uh, having said that, I did do a few 3D machine pocket clips because, you know, we had some guys that were like, man, I really like the knife, but I want a different pocket clip. Hey, you know, I try to be as accommodating as I can. But at any rate, it's got a full titanium backspacer. It's a 17-4 uh, pre-hard stainless steel uh, pivot 
and button. So, sucker mm -hmm. comes out awesome. This knife in particular has got a acid stonewash blade. It's got a 3D machined swedge on the top. You can see up there. And it rides on a hybrid bearing system. It has got a caged bearing on the button side. And then on the spring side, which would be the non-button side or the non-lock side, even though it's reversed compared to a normal knife, is got a, we make them in-house, a custom-made bronze phosphorus bearing on that side. It does, the blade does not ride on the frames like a lot of switch blades do. Um, I've never been a big fan of that. Uh, I believe that a blade should always ride on bearings. Uh, I mean, not that it can't be done really well. Uh, Protec has done an amazing job with how they do that on hard anodized aluminum but I've always just been preferential to riding everything on bearings. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, yeah, so check that out. Forgive my voice. I'm a little congested just getting over a cold here. But yeah, we've got a couple. Uh, I think I have two of these uh, left over from the last run that I just found some parts for and I put them together. Um, so if you're interested, shoot me an email, jacobeckknives at outlook.com, or hit the website and just shoot us an email there. I'll let you know what we have available. Um, you know, they go pretty quick when I list up customs. I don't do a lot of customs anymore. Uh, but yeah, that is the Tradecraft automatic. Also, you know, all of our customs, uh, I have, I don't mention this a lot, um, but you know, this, uh, this business is also our ministry and we try to help people out as best we can. Uh, we used to make these awesome leather pouches uh, in-house and they are still custom made, but we have the Blind and Visual Rehabilitation Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania make these for us now. Uh, we designed and set up a process for them and now they run through, they cut all these out by hand, they emboss the front logo for us and they hand stitch them and distress them. All of our customs come in these awesome leather pouches. Uh, so check them out. You know, if you can ever help out a good cause, I highly encourage you to do so. We've been working with BVRS for a number of years now. Uh, really appreciate everything that they do. Um, you know, also we try to work with a few other places whenever we can, uh, we can we're provided the opportunity, Sugar Creek Forge, uh, and Bamba Forge in South Africa are helping out the Uganda kids, uh, orphans down there. Uh, you know, we give them, we try to give them uh, equipment and stuff like that, grinders and belts and things like that. And, you know, just all around try to be good human beings. So I encourage you to be a good human being. Uh, be well and God bless. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I guess the, uh, the normal spiel at the end of this. Hit the subscribe button. We need you guys to subscribe, watch our videos, show them to your friends, hit our Instagram, our Facebook, and our website. Check out our awesome dealers. Our website has a list of all of our dealers. It's www.jacobacknives.com. Appreciate you guys. God bless.